Welcome back to Fox 2 News at 9 a.m. Uh, pistachios are just pistachios until they reach their full potential. And that's what they do at Tastachios with Bob Brangle joining us. Thank you so much for yeah, being well, here. Thanks for having me in. Yeah, how did you get into pistachios? I, uh, I bought some barbecue flavored peanuts and pistachios and I didn't care for the way they tasted. And when I looked at the label, I noticed that a lot of it was processed using oils and sugars and salts to mimic a flavor. Yeah. And I thought, why not try to do it, a process that's true barbecue. So I started to wood fire roast or smoke a variety of nuts, but it was the pistachio that completely changed. So I wound up perfecting that using a hardwood blend that I do get out of Missouri. So it's an all Missouri made product. And I started to market them out and people really liked them. They took off. I don't know anyone else who wood fire roast a snack nut but me, and I do make them here in town, like I said. And this is one, this is, this this is the is, original this is, right, right here, right? That's the original right there. And what I've done here is this, we've actually just came out with a shelled version. Uh, took a little bit in the making, but we able to use those to incorporate them into a charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. As you can see, these are made from fans of Taste Astros. This is a cheddar uh, wafer made with these. And I just had a collaboration with Anthony from Urban Pepper. He, was, he makes about 13 different nut butters. And he said, I think I can make a really good nut butter. There it is right there. It's incredibly tasting. He sold out uh, last Saturday. And then over here is kind of a cheese ball that was also made by somebody. It's, enco it's encrusted and uh, with taste ashes. And then this is a, a, a cream cheese and honey collaboration. Oh. It goes on like a, a bagel or whatever, or on a cracker. Again, a charcuterie board, great uh, combination for that. Uh, chocolate clusters, taste ashes chocolate clusters. And uh, those are again, made by somebody who was a fan. And then, uh, and yeah, so we're just growing the brand. We're available in all these locations in St. Louis and in the surrounding area down in Springfield. Oh, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> I have a, a nice little collaboration with a couple of people that helped me market it, uh, Joel and, and Brett from Two Men in the Garden. And then, uh, yeah, they helped me grow the brand. So we're, we're growing and trying to get out of the St. Louis, grow in the St. Louis area and then go regionally and, and become a, a you know, regional brand and on, on from there. I love the fact that you, your customers have come up with some of these yeah. great ideas and yeah. all these many uses for the pistachios. Well, the neatest thing is, again, is this for farmer's market, this vendor collaboration. Yeah. I, you know, it's kind of neat to see. I've actually collaborated with another person, Selma, who makes these European-inspired treats. Uh, she's from Bosnia. Oh, wow. And she put it in a fused a pistachio feta cheese roll that's like incredible. And so it's really, really neat to see and to, and to collaborate with a fellow vendor, you know, and put it up in, and we're out there at Tower Grove on uh, Saturdays and we're at Boulevard on Sundays and Fenton on Thursdays. And I'll be at the Best of Missouri in, the, in October and the uh, Apple Butter Festival in Kimswick. Is there, is, is there anything that you're looking down the road, like the potential for these pistachios, like something else? Is there something on the horizon for you? Like got something coming in? Uh, yeah, I, it's the, the overwhelming response that I get when I do farmer's markets where people try these things is, oh, wow. And ironically, husbands and dads are my best customer. Yeah. So, so the, yeah, thanks Nate. to the wives and the daughters and girlfriends. Um, but I, yeah, I'd like to grow this. We're uh, I'm expanding into Kansas City. We got a representation through um, Midwest Specialty Products. And uh, the idea is to hope to grow into a regional brand and then on. And again, we're a, a product that no one else makes. I have not mm. found anybody that makes it like that with the flavor. Again, it's all natural. Nothing added to it other than a light sea salt brine. I use a hardwood blend as my heat source and my flavoring agent that differentiates me from everyone else. That's really and it's good. A, I, yeah, isn't that something? Really good. Unbelievable. If people want to get your pistachios, what can they do? Well, they can get them all at these stores, like I said, locations here. I'm also online at uh, www.tastachios.com. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. You can find me there. And uh, you can buy them online. There it is. It's yeah. Tastachios. Tasty pistachios. Exactly. Taste Addictingly tash. good, as <laughs> Addictingly we say. Addictingly yeah. good. <laughs> I agree. Hey, keep it right here. We got more coming your way. Fox 2 News, 9 a.m.